I've come downtown in Frederick to visit Artomatic. Artomatic is something that began back in 1999 in Washington, D.C. Uh, they found old buildings that were empty and vacant, and so artists took them over and uh, had a show. And now this is the third uh, time that it's happened in Frederick. And again, there are over 300 artists here, and uh, FCC has a large footprint. It's a really great show of the arts in general, Artomatic. I'm standing in front of a drawing by one of FCC students, and uh, let's go look at uh, some of the work that relates to FCC. We're in the room that FCC has taken over, and it's really a nice cross-section of uh, faculty and students intermixed around the room. Uh, this is uh, Cynthia Bausch's work. She teaches drawing figure drawing and drawing, advanced drawing. Um, kind of like a mandala with birds. Let's see who else is here. Um, Shane Sellers, uh, he's got some of his work up here, just a couple of pieces, but all the students in uh, ceramics represented really well with a variety of work, figurative work, uh, sculptural, and uh, ceramics, which is pretty strong all the way around. <laughs> Obviously, this is a student of painting, painting two, uh, Samantha Taylor, really nice work. And she must be a student of David Bottini, who's represented with his, his work here. So he's been on the faculty as an adjunct for several years. And here's another one of his students, uh, Michael Schultz. I've had him as a student. I know he's a good student, really nice painting. And Wendell Poindexter, he's... Uh, a feature in the show, we've seen this painting before at FCC, um, his tattooed man, he calls it dichotomy. Uh, recently at FCC, we've had some sculptural chairs that have been made. So we have three examples of that here by students. I think really strong, uh, technically strong and conceptually strong work. Look at this drawing. Um, Maria Barbosa Quesada, uh, very surreal. Uh, charcoal drawing. So this room is jam-packed with uh, an intermix of faculty and student work. Okay, here's Lisa Shire's work. She's in charge of the graphic arts department there at FCC. These are really interesting combinations of uh, organic and man-made forms that she's manipulated and put back together uh, through the computer and then has created these, uh, I would think they look like kaleidoscope uh, mandalas, really, uh, connect in a very abstract way into nature. I found the work of Lori Rounds. Now, she used to be at FCC. She was the Director of Information and Technology, and uh, she's got a little alcove here of uh, painting. It's like a little painting booth, and her work is um, abstract and uh, intense, I would say. And here's the work of uh, Mark Weinberg, who's been teaching uh, photography at FCC for several years now. Uh, wonderful uh, landscape phot photographs. Here's the work of John Weiss. He's a friend of mine, and he's a friend of FCC. He has several works on uh, long-term loan that are hanging in the Visual and Performing Arts Building on campus. Uh, an artist who works with the computer and creates these really beautiful, minimal abstracts. This is a Richard Schellenberg installation. Richard is the producer of uh, FCC TV, and he uses it as a medium in his work. And with this, this is again a, a kind of a strange, uh, enigmatic piece because we're looking at nature in different ways. Uh, when I look at the video, I see a combination of reality and uh, cartoon. I feel like I'm at uh, Willy Wonka world. Uh, nature is becoming colored and transformed in a kind of a surreal dream way. And the painting is similar in terms of the way it kind of takes a slice of and open up, opens up a, a fantasy uh, landscape. And that's definitely what comes to us across the TV. Here's another artist, Lisa Cook, who has taught at FCC. She taught drawing there. 
and uh, she's really an academically sound uh, artist, uh, traditional in terms of uh, realism. And you can see it in uh, her manipulation of charcoal in these portraits. Here's another Richard uh, Schellenberg installation uh, in this little dark closet. And when you stick your head in there, it's like uh, going into the past. Uh, I feel like I'm in the Bates Hotel on some levels because uh, there's a black and white TV. And uh, this woman is talking about uh, mathematical things, showing graphs and equations. Uh, and if you were uh, unaware of who that person was, you would be really puzzled by what's going on with this artwork. But it's Annie Comito, who uh, is a retired math faculty here at FCC. And uh, Richard had got her involved with an idea he had about uh, birds. <laughs> and there's even a scarecrow. Uh, in this closet. A very uh, sci-fi techno scarecrow, again looking like it's from the 1950s or something. 